Hello, fellow Cybertronians, and welcome to the Cybertron Data Network, the weekly show that brings you all the latest news from the Transformers universe. I'm your host, Bartatron. We have lots to cover this week, so let's roll out. This week in the comic box, we have two five-page previews of upcoming issues from the Transformers and the More Than Meets the Eye lines. First up, More Than Meets the Eye number 38. Megatron and the members of the Lost Light are still dealing with the time paradox. Brainstorm has traveled back in time five million years with the intent on killing Megatron during his creation. Rodimus and a small force have caught up with him in time, only to find out that his plans are to undo everything. In Transformers number 38, Galvatron and RC have temporarily teamed up to find and destroy the Combinery Enigma. The humans have recreated an army from fallen Transformers, and Thundercracker is tasked with stopping them. Prowl, as the head of Devastator, has found the Enigma for himself. Will Rodimus stop Brainstorm from undoing the last five million years of war and chaos? Will Galvatron stop Devastator from using the Enigma to create more Gasalts? The war may be over, but the struggle remains. New stock photos have been released from Wave 3 of the Transformers Combiner Wars figures. From the Legends class, we have Groove, Viper, and Warpath. The Voyager class gives us Hotspot and Cyclonus. We also get our first look at some concept art for the upcoming Ironhide figure. The first box images for Masterpiece Star Saber have been revealed. The wait is almost over and the release of MP24 Star Saber is right around the corner. A color image of MP25 tracks has made its way into public view. This is shaping up to be another great addition to the Masterpiece line. <music> X-Transbots has revealed the color renders for both Boost, aka Wind Charger, and Hatch, aka Tailgate. Both figures have interchangeable faceplates 
and Hatch comes with an interchangeable chest plate for either a cartoon or toy accurate look. G Creations have revealed the prototype images of their SRK-03 aka Grimlock figure. Shown next to Masterpiece Grimlock as a size comparison, this figure is shaping up to be a hefty beast. Beta testing is closed, and Dina has announced that the highly anticipated mobile game Transformers Rising will be released sometime this month. I did not participate in the beta test, but from what I gather, it appears to be an updated version of Transformers Legends. Regardless, I am looking forward to this game and cannot wait. That's all for this episode. Join me every week for more of the latest Transformers news. As an added bonus, I plan on ending every episode with a character spotlight. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you back here again next week and every week on Cybertron Data Network. This is Bartatron. Till all are one. This week's character spotlight, Autobot, Huffer. To say that Huffer is cranky is an understatement. Huffer's the poster boy for whiny pessimism. He complains and grumbles his way through every day, especially since he's been shipwrecked on Earth. If he thought his existence was unbearable before, it's intolerable now, and he'll certainly let you know. There is no light in his dark hours, which is all the time. Despite what a joy he is to be around, he's very effective at his job. A construction engineer, he can whip up anything of any complexity. Unfortunately, he'll be kicking and screaming the whole way. <laughs>